If you want to be good in troubleshooting bug like problems in a mobile phone, then listen to what I'm going to read out from my book, The Blog Diagram Master. We are going to talk about all the lines that are available in the bug light section, the, their functions, where they are connected to the voltage available in the line, so that when you hold your schematic diagram, yeah, you'll be good. Let's start with the LCD BLEN, which is the bug light enable signal. Like what is it all about? This is a control signal that comes from the CPU or the power manager IC. It tells the backlight IC to turn on or off. So I said it comes from the CPU or the power manager IC. This is because this particular enable signal is connected with the CPU and the power manager IC. The signal itself comes from the CPU Meanwhile, the power supply of the signal comes from the power manager IC. We are going to talk about this soon. So, the function it acts as a fuse that enables and disables the backlight function, like the voltage you get. So, if this line is bad, the LCD screen will remain dark even if the display is working. No voltage will reach the LCD, and the solution to solving this particular line. Check the track continuity and trace it back to the PMU or the CPU to see if it's giving an enable signal. So, if in case you don't understand how to test this, I'm talking about the diode reading. You should get the diode reading in the enable signal to know if it has a connection between the CPU and the power manager IC. You get so at times because the line is connected to two ICs, it means that for you to test and know if everything is okay, you remove the backlight IC, hence you get the reading, and also you make sure that the components like the resistors that are connected to this line in parallel in a backlight section, you should remove them. So why should you remove these components that are connected in parallel to get a correct reading? That's because when they are connected that way. You will test, you will get a diode reading. And that's not because the line is actually connected to the CPU or the PMU IC. When you remove it, you will know that the CPU and the PMU IC are there. So for the PMU IC, you check the voltage, which is the enable voltage, the power supply voltage of the enable signal, which is either 1.8 volt or 2.8 volt in some devices when you get the voltage that's when you will know that okay you should look for the for the diode signal of the cpu if you don't get the voltage that means that the power ic is not giving out the enable signal so the next line that we are going to talk about is the led plus those who have been reading schematic diagram you know what this line is about so you can see led plus led a slash lcm or you can see w led so what is this line all about this is the output positive line from the backlight ic that goes to the light of the display that goes to the backlight of the display right to light of your screen what's the function it carries the boosted voltage often 15 volt to 30 volt to power the led array in the display to power the lights in the display right so if this line is bad or open circuit short circuit the lcd won't light up yeah that's normal no voltage or low voltage it was to no backlight if this happens, if there is a low voltage or no voltage in this line, right? So the solution, change the continuity from the IC, which is the backlight IC to the connector. Check the voltage output using your multimeter. You get set your multimeter to DC mode and you will test. If you get a voltage, that means that you have to check something else. Maybe the display is not okay. If you get this boosted voltage, that means that either there is a problem with the other negative line in which we have to talk about soon or there is a problem with the display or the connector itself because getting this voltage means that the enable signal in which we talked about is okay if you need this book just send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen okay so the next line that we are going to talk about is the led one negative and the led two negative What's the meaning of this line? These are the negative return lines, also called the LED cathode for different backlight channels. So you will see they have different names 
yeah depending on the form that you are working on but this is the most common name that you will get in schematic diagrams so the function helps the backlight regulate current through each led strip like the gnd of the backlight you get so if these lines are bad disconnected or shorted backlight won't turn on properly or might flash now you get a type of flashing display flashing going flashing yeah all that the ic might detect open load or shut down like if this line has a problem there is likely that the ic will misfunction also okay so these are the lines that you always have to check them step by step so solution how do you check this line check the tracks and the dial drop reading on each pin if you get the, the, the negative one and the negative two, you check the dial reading of the pins. Reball replace the IC if internal connection is damaged, which means that maybe the IC is damaged internally, replace the IC. So let's talk about the common fault symptoms for bag light section. Four, the LCD BLEN, which is the bag light enable signal. If you get this problem, no bag light at all, check the enable signal voltage usually 1.8 volt to 2.8 volt so you should get this voltage in the enable signal if you don't get the voltage trace the line go to the power supply uh, ic of this voltage replace it or reball it led plus which is the positive line of the back light section if there is no back light or low light you should check the high voltage output you should get 15 to 30 volt depending on the mobile PCB and also you don't have to get confused here the low voltage as low as 15 means that the brightness of the phone is pushed down when you push down the brightness you get a low amount of voltage and current when you push it up you get a high amount of current so the brightness when it's fully increased you should get at least 30 volt if you check this line and you see you get a low voltage even when the the, the, the brightness is increased maybe the screen is lighting up just a bit you increase the brightness then there is no change and also you get no high voltage that means that you have to replace the IC what about the LED1 and the LED2 flickering or dark screen so when it's lying as a problem you will have that type of flickering screen the, the screen blinking right check for open circuit verify the current scene check for open circuit in this line and make sure that everything is okay which means that you have to check the, the line between the ic and the screen connector but i just wanted to read this page of my book so that you will yeah see what the book is about i'm going to read more pages yeah hopefully so this is my book the block diagram that's uh, you can get it you can get the soft copy or the hard copy if you are in Cameroon. If you are not in Cameroon, you can get the soft copy from the link in the video description, the link on my bio, pin comment, or send me a message on WhatsApp to get the book.